good essay. So the title says how not to write a lousy essay, which means how to write a good essay. So as you all know, uh, whether it's uh, RBI or it's NABAD or SEBI, there is a lot of emphasis on writing, on essay writing in the descriptive English. Therefore, the focus is going to be on certain uh, issues and points that you must note down so that you are in a position to write in 300 words or 250 words or 200 words as the case may be, a good essay. Keep, please keep in mind the word limit which is very important. So uh, here we begin, be choosy while shopping. So what are we shopping here for? When you're writing an essay, we're shopping essentially for the topic. You have a choice. So firstly, you must choose an appropriate topic. When I say choose an appropriate topic, what do we mean by that? A topic which is A, of interest to you, B, you have prepared for it, and C, you are able to gather your thoughts on the subject. So once you choose your topic, the appropriate topic, I'm emphasizing the word appropriate topic, just don't go by the sound of the topic because you have to read it carefully to see that you are in a position to talk on that, to write on that. So having chosen your topic, you have to then prioritize and plan. We'll, we'll, we'll discuss these points as we go ahead. The third point is structure your essay. So your essay is going to be not a random display of uh, thoughts. It should not be rambling, but it should be a well-structured, tight essay uh, with three distinct elements in which an essay has. So we'll go across and see what those uh, three uh, parts are. And then, of course, very important is the word limit. Please understand, it is very difficult to write an essay in 300 words or 250 words because you have so much to say sometimes on a topic and you have uh, so much material that you tend to cross the word limit. Or sometimes, fortunately, because you've done the press writing, you know the art of press writing, so you would be in a position to compress your essay accordingly. And then most important is the beginning and the end of your essay. So in this class, then we're going to work on these five points that I've written here uh, when uh, we write an essay. So when I say be choosy, be choosy means what? When you when you go for a shop, when you go shopping, you don't pick up the first available thing that comes you come across. Particularly if you are doing some important shopping, you would see, uh, I think, a couple of times, see four or five items, then pick up the one you like, analyze it, feel that, say, you're buying a, a, buying a shirt or a dress, you would feel the texture, uh, read the washing instructions, etc., etc. So what I'm trying to say is you are spending some time while choosing during your shopping spree. Similarly, in your, uh, while writing your essay, please spend some time on choosing the appropriate topic. Okay, so then I choose the. So let's say, let's take an example here. I have given you four essay topics. Uh, women empowerment for a better social, better social order in India. Customer service in the age of digital banking. Has COVID helped in pollution control and environment? social media, the good, bad, and ugly. Now here we have four topics. And you know, I choose these from where do I take this phrase? Uh, when you choose a bride, I choose thee, and you offer the ring to her. So similarly, I choose which essay. Now when we have four essays, please, I read them once. In your exam, you must read them at least thrice. Women empowerment for a better, better social order in India. Customer service in the age of digital banking. Has COVID helped in pollution control and environment? Social media, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So as you can notice now, let's try to understand, this is a topic which relates to women. It's, it's a social issue. 
customer service is related to banking digital banking in the age of digital banking covid uh, health in pollution control and environment by covid this is also a very contemporary essay and on environment it is not just covid but it is environment pollution control and lastly you have a general essay social media so you have four types of essays here one on social matters one on banking one on environment and one of general nature also please notice how the uh, topic is worded see take for example number three has covid helped in pollution control and environment question mark now when there is a question mark it's a question they are asking you which means it is very pertinent on your part to have a view in a general essay you can end up with a view this way or that way or a broad you know um, general view of things but here if you decide to work on this kind of an essay with a question mark where they are asking for your understanding and opinion you have to be very clear that at the end of the essay you must be able to come to a conclusion which is derived out from the arguments that you have set forth uh, prior to coming to the conclusion. So now it's let's go back to topic number one, women empowerment and a better social order. When you say better social order, it means the existing order it's talking of a social order which is better than what it exists today so it becomes comparative in nature and it also says India now sometimes the essay could be women empowerment for a better, better social order full stop there is no India so please notice please place your essay in the context in which it is being asked for that is very critical Customer service in the age of digital banking, this is something which uh, if you're preparing for a bank exam, you would be very familiar with the banking topic of this nature. <clears throat> this third topic is so contemporary that I guess everybody is familiar with what's happened, what's, you know, the good, the bad, the, the good, the bad and ugly of uh, uh, COVID. Here it is talking of helping in controlling so normally we see the negative side of COVID. Here it's asking you to look at the positivity of COVID, the good part of COVID. Has it helped in pollution control and environment? So that's a question you have to answer yes or no. And social media, you all are so active. I'm sure this young generation is so active on social media. So therefore, this would be an easy essay to write about. But also remember that anything easy is something everybody's going to attempt. So when everybody writes the same kind of an essay on the same subject, well, uh, you know, uh, and somebody writes a different essay, he, he stands out certainly in terms of the content. Now, let's move on to the next topic, which is language. Does language matter? What is being tested? Please try to understand, ask yourself this question. What is being tested? Yes they are testing as a debate over language or content. Are they testing my language skills or are they testing how much I know? The answer is essentially your language control, your grip over your language, your skill in writing your language with some meaningful content. So in other words, you may have a lot of good content but if it's couched in bad language, bad structure, clumsy sentences, it's not going to fetch you any marks. At the same time, you have very good language, but your content is weak. Still, you know, you may still be able to get marks because your language is what the exam, this is a, remember, this is descriptive English. And you have only 300 words in RBI, you have 300 words in Nabad, you have 250 words. So not many words. So content you can manage, but language is where you will have to emphasize. So it's your language, it's your style, it's your content. These are three things that you must keep in mind.
Now, topic analysis, as we've done, uh, as, as uh, what we shall do is, this is the continuation of your choosing. You know, when I said, uh, let's go on a shopping spree of choosing. Aha feeling, you know the aha feeling? So when I uh, see a topic and I say, ah, this is something I can write about. The moment you get the feeling, that means this is your comfort zone and you would be able to do a good job of it. Then, in generally when you're writing an essay, try to see the pros and cons of the subject matter, whether this is a debatable topic or not, whether they are asking for my pros and cons, or whether if I have some points in pros and cons, how can I put it across? So in your language, when you're writing, there is something what we call as the uh, transition, you know, the transition from one para to another para you will have to transit in a very smooth fashion by using what in English we call as transitional sentence phrases. So, however, therefore, in view of the above, in short, you know, these kind of phrases can be used to move from one para to another para. So your pros and cons, your sense of familiarity with the topic, all these things will come from this aha factor. If you have two, three, four, five points, you will return, come back to this feeling that yes, this is the topic I can actually work on. So let me do one thing. I will take two essays in this class. I'm not going to write the essays, but we're going to just see that if we have chosen this essay, how do we go about it? That is the whole idea. So uh, the first topic was, Women Empowerment for a Better Social Order in India. Now, if we have chosen this topic, what are the points? So when I say structure your essay, what I'm trying to tell you is, you must start noting down your points so that they flow in a meaningful fashion. It's not random, but one point following the next should be logical. The journey should be, your trajectory of the essay should be logical trajectory. So let's say the point number one that comes to me is, uh, I will talk of the role of women in society in general. I can talk of the gender centric society. You know, every society is by and large uh, tilting to one side of the gender. Of course, there are exceptions. So those are the exceptions perhaps you can bring about gender-centric society, it's a matriarchal or a patriarchal, by and large, the world over, it's a patriarchal society. There are small pockets, there are tribal belts, where you will find examples of, uh, you know, matriarchal society. So this is another point, perhaps, for empowerment. So where are women more empowered, gender-centric society, where it's male-centric or women-centric, or why, why women need to be empowered? Because it is essentially a male gender-centric society. So try to put things in a historical perspective. That's very important. You know, in such essays, you always give a perspective to it. So when it is saying a better social order, uh, so it's a comparison of some sort. Therefore, you will give them a, a run through a little bit of history. Examples of women in, say, um, Indus Valley civilization, women in, mid, uh, mid, say, somewhere around Ashoka's time, and then during the Mughal period, and then during partition, post-partition, and today. So a little uh, historical perspective would also place, give you a framework to write your essay in. Then there's another very important thing, the rural-urban divide. So there are women in the rural uh, India, there are women in uh, urban, uh, in the cities. So therefore, there is a divide. So you could do another comparison here. Similarly, you have the rich and poor issues. So you have the poor women, you have the middle class women, you have the rich women, you have the richer women. So, so this is the way when you start structuring your essay, you must try to bring the, write down points on your rough sheet. Don't just jump into writing an essay. My suggestion is always, always spend some time shopping. So shopping is not just uh, choosing the topic. Shopping also involves feeling 
the, the fa fabric that you've chosen. Looking into the mirror when you hold it and see whether it suits you or not. This is what we're doing here right now. So we are sitting down, jotting down our points and seeing what are the issues that I can think about. Now, there will be a lot of issues. I have written down six, the educated and the uneducated. So you can see a thread and transition, you know. I put, put the women in a historical perspective, then rural, urban, rich and poor, educated, uneducated. So I keep moving back and forth and I'm trying to say with this kind of a society, what is needed to have empower our women? Then you have working and non-working women. So we have seven points here. So seven points. If you were to write even four sentences per point, you would be easily in a position to write 250 to 300 words. When you're working on the word limit, and if you feel that you are exceeding the word limit, then go through your essay and remove all the adjectives that you come across. Sometimes we use a lot of adjectives to make our essay look better. But then if my word limit is uh, exceeding, one way of reducing it is to remove all the adjectives and long sentences and shorten the sentences if I can. Uh, so this was our topic number one that we have uh, discussed and I've given you some input, seven points. Surely when you sit down and note down your points, they may be very different points from what I've written here. Each one thinks differently and each one reads differently. So whatever we've read, imbibed, observed, we are going to bring our experiences into writing this kind of an essay. So the second topic that I've taken is the social media, the general kind of essay, the good, the bad and ugly. So what is the good part of social media? What is the bad part of social media and what is the ugly part of social media? So let's say, why are we on social media? Ask yourself this question. You know, when you're writing down your points, you must go and asking yourself these questions. Well, why are we on social media? Why should I like to be on Twitter and also on WhatsApp and then uh, Facebook and so on and Insta and so on and so forth? So essentially, A, it keeps people together and then you work on it. I'm just putting it keeps people together. How it keeps people together that you can expand upon. Well, then the fast speed of communication. So what happens in Insta? You take a picture and bang, you're there on the Instagram world over, people are seeing you. You have a message, you send it across on WhatsApp and there you are. Bingo, it comes like that. So the fast speed of communication, these are the good parts of social media. I've given two points. It depends on how you go to get your points, how many points you have and how much can you use. So the bad part I would say is addictive. It's very addictive. Now there's a very good cartoon I came across. Uh, and sometimes you can always have an anecdote uh, to make your essay sound interesting. So there it says, uh, visiting grandma. So there's a round table and the family is driven down to meet grandma, the father, the mother, the son, granddaughter and grandson. And all four are sitting around the table, granny at the head of the table, well it's a round table, so she's one end. And these uh, families sitting together and all of them are busy looking like this. And poor granny is sitting like this. So that is the bad or the ugly side of uh, social media. Over exposure of the self. You know, this is another value system that has been brought about. That people are, have become so self-centric. They are always narcissists. They go on posing themselves in different uh, locations, different moods, and uh, it become a big joke. So the world has been, it's yourself has been overexposed. What's your privacy? So you can talk on these lines.
and too much excess people have too much excess about you information on you pictures on you and how you all know very well what happens how pictures can be morphed how they can be misused how so that's one part then the data you know how much of data gets stolen and sold and how they're using it and where the marketing comes into the picture so it's very easy if you have these kind of broad points you would be in a position to easily write your essay and then of course the fake news so uh, this is uh, the ugly part of uh, social uh, the social media and how so much of hatred in the society miscommunication um, pictures which do not exist which have been uh, morphed and leading rise to so much of misinformation it can disturb the social fabric of the world of your society of the psyche of the people so these are some of the points uh, that i think if you were to note down while writing an essay you will be able to write do a good job so now let's go back to our planning stage how when we have these points so i have to divide my essay if it's a typical way of writing an essay you will find this any way you read the beginning the middle and the end three main parts of an essay and let's see when i talk of the beginning did you all notice the title of this uh, today's talk how not to write a lousy essay well it could have been how to write a good essay but the idea is that your title your opening sentences should make it scream it should catch the eyeballs when i say get inspired book cover or a movie title sometimes we as they say don't buy a book by the cover you know don't look at the cover and buy a book but unfortunately that is the truth when we do not know anything about the contents of the book we do not know anything about the writer we get carried away by the lovely cover that is there on the book so my point is make your opening sentence screaming it should be loud it should draw my attention uh how to write a lousy essay how not to write a lousy essay or how to write a good essay if you say how to write a good essay well everybody knows that but if you say how or not to write a lousy essay it becomes a little different so what i'm trying to say is make it apparently apparently is within inverted commas please note this may it should not be controversial topic at all your starting should not be controversial it should appear to be so which has to be qualified immediately in the next sentence so the whole idea is make the eyeballs roll and eyebrows twitch oh what is he trying to say what has she written what does she mean by using the sentence and get inspired again how do you end it not with a whimper don't have a lame tame ending but end with a bang you know that you have arrived with your statement that you were trying to say so let me sum up the essay for you uh, the whole uh, topic today you have to choose your topic wisely you have to prioritize and plan your essay very carefully you need to structure the beginning the middle and the end and the beginning and the end have to be attractive and i catch it these are the core uh, ingredients to make up a nice essay now summing up tip i said language matters yes that we have discussed it is very important to have good crisp language short sentences do not make it flowery do not make it uh, sound uh, victorian in its style it should be a contemporary english written in short crispy sentences do not use slangs at all do not use abbreviations manage the length that's very important your marks will be cut 
You must give a title to your essay. Don't forget the title. No extra padding. You have no scope. You only have 300 words. So there is no question of having, uh, you know, you understand padding. When I say padding, what I am to say is that sometimes when, um, for example, when you see a movie, the effectively the plot would end in an hour and a half. But what are, how does the movie go uh, to two hours of length? Because the director, or they, have, they, has, they have padded by adding some comedy scenes, by adding some songs, and, uh, you know, or dream sequences. So those are called padding things. So we don't need to do anything of a kind in our essay. Some meaningful reference. This is important. Everyone reads books, you know, when you are preparing for an, any exam, you would have read a number of books, articles, uh, thought leaders, you know. So those are uh, hidden somewhere in the recesses of your mind. And when you write your essay, try to recall if something that you may have read, some insights from your reading or some references from some books that you can add to your essay. So I think with uh, these inputs, you guys would be really in a very good position to write a decently good essay, not a lousy essay. You're most welcome to come and join in I exam B and we will take you through a nice guided tour of various subjects including descriptive English and uh, more nuances of pressy writing, English writing, descriptive writing, essay writing, analytical reasoning, etc. etc. Have a good day. Goodbye.